floor is yours, Mr. Miran Baruch. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, Pablo Kasaka. The one thing we have in common with our Pashtun brothers is that Operation Zarbiazb is <coughs> directed towards eliminating both our nations. Supposedly, the Pakistani army initiated Operation Zarbiazb in June 2014 to eliminate terror groups that were operating in tribal areas of Pakistan. In reality, this operation was aimed at rescuing the good Taliban, the Haqqani network, the lashkar e taiba and other banned outfits who were being sponsored by the Pakistani military and ISI. These are the ones who target Western soldiers in Afghanistan, Baluch refugees in Afghanistan, Baluch nationalists in Baluchistan, Baluch lawyers in Baluchistan, religious minorities in Baluchistan, particularly Shias, and target India as well. Pakistan is the epicenter of international and regional terrorism. Therefore, in order to fool the world and its own people, it comes up with slogans and gimmicks to cool the temperature when the world pressure builds up against Pakistan. Then it tries to diffuse the pressure with names of, such as Zarbiyaz, which I don't think any Pakistani even knows what it means, and the National Action Plan, Rai <coughs> Rast. In case of Baluchistan, it comes up with names like Aghazi Hakuke Baluchistan, which is absolutely meaningless. Mm -hmm. It's an open secret that the massacre of Baluch lawyers last month in Kuwaita Baluchistan was committed by the state, and in response, it rapidly started a combing operation in Baluchistan where the Punjabi fascist army systematically started eliminating ethnic cleansing of the Baloch. All this is being done first and foremost to please its masters in China. All the charity it receives from the international community for the sake of Operation Zarbi Az, which Pakistan promises will make the world a safer place. All the military and financial aid is being used to commit genocide in Baluchistan, on the other hand, in the tribal areas of Pakistan, Zarbi Azd has done nothing more than create a severe humanitarian crisis. Apart from creating a humanitarian crisis, Pakistan has also grossly failed to stop terrorist groups in the region from launching attacks both within and outside Pakistan. Also, the Pakistani government's inability to bring Afghan government to cooperate in preventing adjacent Afghan provinces from becoming a new safe haven for the militants is another failure. Operation Zarbi Az has turned into a mere chaos, resulting in a creation of a situation of severe humanitarian crisis. <coughs> Since Pakistan was manufactured, I stress on the word manufactured, it has been a burden not only to its neighbors, but on the international community as well. It has not contributed 1% in the world's welfare, whereas at least 75% of world's terrorism is directly or indirectly linked to Pakistan. Its military, its intelligence services, so the question is, does the world really need a Pakistan? The answer is obviously no. The best way to neutralize this rogue terrorist state is to support the restoration of Pakistan's independence, sovereignty, and integrity. Because a secular, democratic, liberal Pakistan is the antidote for this religious, extremist, venomous Pakistan. Let there be no mistake the, why the Operation Zarbiyaz was started. It was an action against the Pashtuns by the Punjabi army. I have great sympathy for the Pashtuns because my mother is a Pashtun. I thank you very much. Thank you. Very good.